So I'm here today to talk to you about the new module from Dove Audio. This is the D502 Multimode VCF. This is based on the SSI2140, which is quite a unique filter. And that in turn is based on the SSM2040. So uh, let's run you through some of the unique features of this filter. So we have a cutoff knob, as you would expect. We have a filter CV depth, so you can change how much your envelope or level affects the cutoff. We have a resonance control. Then we get down to the unique parts. So here we have the output selector. So this lets us pick which of the four poles we output. So at the moment it's pointing to pole four. So we have a four pole low pass filter. We switch to three pole, two pole or one pole low pass filter. Now what else is unique about this is you have the ability to switch the first two poles from low pass, as they are at the moment, into high pass individually. So this lets you create lots of different filter modes. So for example, if I put these both in high pass, the four pole output now becomes a two pole band pass because I have the first two poles as high pass and the second two poles are fixed as low pass. Equally, I can go to a three pole output and here I have two high pass poles and one low pass pole, giving me a special kind of filter. If I go here, then I have a two pole high pass filter because both poles are just in the high pass mode. I can of course switch one of them into low pass and now I have a band pass filter. So again, lots of different features. So here I just want to do some sweeps through the filters with various poles and various modes and things selected uh, so you can get a feel for how it sounds. So I have the um, Odyssey of Sound VCO from Core Synth uh, with a little pulse width modulation going on that's coming into the input. Uh, I have my VCA open so you can hear the filter as I sweep through it and I've got the four poles selected to start with so we'll So a fairly sort of standard four pole sound. We can bring up the resonance. And you crank it all the way up. So it's a fairly standard four pole. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to leave the cutoff here and switch between the modes. So we're on four pole, go to three pole. And here it gets a little bit brighter and we'll have a quick play. Again with the resonance. And we'll turn the resonance up full. And we go to two pole. Again, you can hear it getting a bit brighter, a bit more fizzy. Let's turn the resonance. play with it at that point. Turn the resonance up full. There you go, you can hear it's a little bit of character, it's a bit nastier. So let's go for a one pole mode. So here it's quite bright, quite fizzy. Let's show you some of the modes if we go to four pole mode. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn on these two into high pass mode so you'll hear a band pass sound. Again with the resonance cranked a little bit. And with the resonance all the way up. So that was the two poles in high pass and two poles in low pass. So what we'll do is we'll just have, let's just have, we'll have a low pass, then a high pass and then two low passes. 
So this is a three pole low pass with a one pole high pass in it. So it's quite a unique filter topology. Now, one of the things that I like about this filter is the way that the feedback works for the resonance is slightly peculiar. So if we flip the first pole into high pass and flip this one back into low pass, you would expect to get the same because you'd have a high pass and then three low passes rather than a low pass, a high pass and two low passes. But because of the peculiar way the feedback is or the resonance is brought back into the front of the filter, the resonance gets a little bit gnarly. So here we have the first stage is a high pass, second stage is a low pass, and then the third and fourth stage is a low pass. And you can hear the filters completely change character. Let's go back again. So it's a lot nastier. Turn the resonance up. Becomes quite a vicious sort of filter, which is great. And again, we can do the same thing with the three pole output. So let's turn the resonance down, go to three pole. We can invert the second pole. So we kind of have a two pole low pass with a one pole high pass. And then if we do the trick where we make the first pole the high pass. And again we can go to a two pole mode, and there we go, we've got a one pole high pass to one pole low pass, giving us a one pole band pass. Or we can flip them the other way around to get a slightly cleaner sound. Still a little bit gnarly, which is one of the things that I like about the 2140 filter chip. So if we go to one pole, if we flip this to high pass, you won't hear a difference. But if you turn the resonance up and flip it, So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set a sequence off running and I'm just going to play with the filter modes, the cutoff and the resonance so you can get a feel for what it sounds like. Don't, 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 don't,
There you go, that was a quick demo of that. So what I want to demonstrate now is the 1V proactive tracking. So I have the D502 module set up with a filter CV input here, which you can see that's coming from a sequencer and the audio output's just going to a VCA. There's no envelopes anywhere. The sequencer is also driving a, the Corsint Odyssey of Sound VCO and I've got its sine wave output. So on the left, I have the 502 VCF and on the right, I have the core synth Odyssey of Sound VCO. Bring them both up. And when I press start on the sequencer, you'll hear the track absolutely perfectly. So this lets you have a one volt per octave input uh, and gives you lots and lots of options as to what you can do with it. You don't have to have it set up like this. I just kind of really like the, the sound of the resonance when I've got the first pole inverted. So there you go. Thanks for watching.